Hello everyone, my name is Suver, Dusty Enthusiast, and today I'll be explaining how anyone can up the damage of their glaive's melee attack by almost 250% or more. All tests were done in the K1 Community and Lost Sector on the moon. Let's get into the breakdown. Let's start off with the normal glaive attack. As you can see, the normal melee attack is doing 14,458 damage per hit. Now, if you add on high energy fire, this will increase it to 17,349, roughly a 20% increase or buff. Now, if you add stasis into the mix, this is where things get interesting. If you melee a frozen target, or an enemy affected by the freeze effect of stasis, the glaive's regular melee attack goes from the base damage of 14,458 to 31,806, roughly a 120% increase in damage. Now, if you combine that with high energy fire, your melee attack will do 38,168 damage, roughly a 164 increase or buff. Now, here's where it gets good. If you add Tractor Cannon, the base damage of the Glaive attack goes from 14,458 to 18,795, a 30% increase. Here's the thing, you can stack all of these together. If you buff the melee attack with high energy fire, and then debuff an enemy or boss with Tractor Cannon, then freeze the enemy, you will increase the damage by 243%. This will take the base attack of 14,458 to 49,618 damage per swing. Now, if you were to get rid of high energy fire, and you add a well instead, the base attack will go from 14,458 to 51,684, including all of these buffs and debuffs, per swing. Hunters can take this even further with Bacris, which will add on another 10% on top of this. So, with all of that, is this practical to use? Yes, in my opinion it is. It's better in mid to high end content, or harder content, as in regular play, this just melts things too fast. You can also pair this with the new Stasis Fusion Rifle with Chill Clip, which is what I have been doing. So, how do you get this to work in a raid setting? Well, for example, in Vow of the Disciple for Ralk, I'd recommend 3 Wells for Warlocks and 3 Revenants for Hunters to keep Ralk frozen and affected by Stasis while the Wells chain supers. Now, I will say you can run Divinity instead of Tractor Cannon, but you will lose out on an entire person, so I don't really see the point of doing that. The key thing for this to work is that they need to be under the effects of stasis, whether that is a boss, a champion, or whatever enemy you're trying to hit with your glaive, otherwise your glaive will drop massively in damage. So are there any pros and cons you should be aware of? Yes, the only con about all of this is that you need to be aware that minor, major, and boss spec will not work or boost the damage of the glaive's melee attack, it only boosts the projectile attack. The pros are that with this all set up, you can boost your glaive's melee attack by 250% per swing, without having to use any ammo. There is a reddit post I made linked below detailing all of the things that do and do not work with glaives. I will also have a separate video about all of that coming out soon. With that said, my name's Super, Dasty Enthusiast, and I'll see y'all in the next video.